Hello everyone, it's Carrie. I hope everyone is having a great holiday season. So I always like to get ready for the new year by setting up a new planner system. And this year we've been doing a lot of traveling in our RV, so I decided the traveler's notebook setup would be best for me. So when I pulled out my old traveler's notebook, I felt I wanted to do something more fresh and light, so I created a new one. And when I got started, I thought, why don't I record it and share it with you guys? So the process looks a little clunky, so please let me know in the description box below if you have any questions. So the first part I was showing my old traveler's notebook, which was a, an Alice in Wonderland theme. And I added one of my Alice in Wonderland keychains, which is available in the shop. And I let that hang off the side. And I liked it, but I wanted something more fresh and light and just new uh, for the new year. So I chose this fabric. It's a light gray colored. It looks either uh, ostrich or snakeskin sort of faux vinyl or faux leather vinyl. And I'm... I cut it to the dimensions of, well, it's like eight, let's see, eight point, or eight, eight and a quarter inches high and ten and a half inches long. So when you fold it in half, it's five and a quarter um, for the, when you put the books in. So I cut that to that dimension and then I added some fabric tape to the edges so that they would stay nice and sealed and then added some fabric glue to the inside and smoothed that out with a popsicle stick. Once I had that glue smooth on there then I removed the backing of the tape and this way when I tape it down or glue it down to the felt I can easily just cut around the edges so I don't have to measure both. And there I'm just smoothing it out and making sure it folds without any creases and then that's the general shape of the book so I'm pulling out some of my dies and I'm picking out one that I think I want to cut some vinyl with that to make a little emblem type thing for the front and so it's just a little decorative piece and I later went back and redid it with some felt on the back just to give make it a little more sturdy but it just adds a little bit of decoration and it also is a good like flap for the outer edge so it kind of covers that side edge there to help keep things closed. So now I'm measuring out where I'm going to put the grommets. I don't, I, I just kind of eyeball it and I cut with, I have this crocodile that cuts holes and it also adds the little eyelets. So I'm popping two holes in the center on each side. Like I said, it's 10 inch, 10 and a half inches across, so right in the center. And then I'm also adding a hole in the middle, which is kind of difficult to get to with the crocodile. So I cut it with an X-Acto knife, very tiny, and then stuck the eyelet in. I didn't want to cut it too big, so I was very delicate with what I was cutting. And then I add the eyelet to the center. I do this one first just to get it out of the way because it's just difficult to get to that center piece and to get my crocodile down there to uh, seal it in. So then I roll it up and then I take my crocodile and smash it together and it closes that. And so I add the eyelets to the rest of the holes. And these are the holes where you'll put elastic through to hold the books in. The books I purchased at Michael's, and I'll put those in the description box below. They're just uh, traveler's notebooks, and one of them is a calendar, one of them is a sketchbook, and one of them is a dotted uh, whatever they call them, like a dotted, you know, notebook. So I'm measuring out some elastic to go around the outside and this holds everything together. And I wanna make it a little bit tighter than you would think just because it this elastic is super stretchy and I wanna keep everything tight and snug in there. So I'm choosing a coordinating, coordinating button the button isn't seen, so it really doesn't matter, but I just wanted to pick out a lavender one to go with the overall theme. I'm just doing a gray and purple. And 
and then I'll just pull that elastic through the button and tie it and that prevents the elastic from pulling through that eye eyelet there so tying it up I do a square knot and then one extra and so I did it a few times just to make sure I wanted it tight but not too tight And then once I was happy with it, I tied it off and then I used a lighter to seal up that knot. Then I'm taking out some elastic to make a bookmark and the bookmark goes through the top two holes. And then I just added a little, kind of like a bead to the outside. And this is a bead that's got a large hole. So if I wanted to add one of those tassels or just some sort of embellishment, I can just um, add the lobster claw through that hole. And then I'll add some beads to the end in a little bit. And then I take a longer piece of elastic and I put that through the top two holes and then I feed it through the bottom two holes and I just do that twice and that will give me four strips of elastic to put the books through. Like I said, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. This is a doll channel so I thought this would just be a little extra. I'd share this with you since, you know, do, doing the as many dolls as I've been doing lately, I really need to get to planning. And this Traveler's Notebook is just so fun to be able to track things on a calendar. And then I can use the dot grids to do extra planning of projects. And then there's a sketchbook if I wanted to do sketches of anything. So it's just really helpful for when you're doing either being a, an artist for a living or uh, just trying to track your projects. It's very a helpful tool for me. So there I added the beads and I lit the end to seal off that knot. And that's just a little traveling bookmark that I'll pull through the pages where I'm, wherever I want to remind myself to go next. And then I'm taking an extra piece of elastic in a darker purple color and I'm just making a loop with it and tying it off and this I can feed two books through and then well I have a little pencil case there so I pulled it through all of the elastic and then I add the two other books in there so I hope that makes sense so I also went back and added with some eyelets and uh, another piece of that die cut vinyl I added another uh, uh, little pen loop to the end. I've never had a pen. I always struggle with the traveler's notebooks because I don't have a pen attached. So I was really happy to add that and it's been really working out. So that's an alternative addition. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little extra and I hope you guys have a wonderful, happy new year. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.